We rotate images to create something wonderful or artistic. In this video, we will be discussing to you how to do it. The rotation of an image is measured in degrees. The direction of the rotation is clockwise. Zero degree means to the right, 90 degrees at the bottom, 180 degrees at the left, and 270 degrees on top. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. First, we should draw a 2x2 two two table on a web page. Two rows and two columns. We will fill up each table cell with an image. Then we have to rotate the images to form a circle. We have rotated it 45 degrees clockwise. That's why it now belongs to the lower left quadrant for the yellow one. For the red quadrant, we've spun it clockwise by 135 degrees. That's why it's now in the upper left quadrant. For the green quadrant, we assigned this logo to be rotated by 225 degrees clockwise. So it will be positioned on the upper right. We assigned a blue quadrant image to be rotated 315 degrees clockwise or 45 degrees counterclockwise in other words. So it will be assigned to the lower right portion among the four quadrants. We assign a unique background and text color for each table cell. Ideally, these colors should correspond to the logos. We converge the images at the center by using vertical and horizontal alignments. The vertical align is meant to be assigned top, middle, or bottom, while the horizontal align is for left, center, or right. In this case, the format should be called text align for the sake of HTML programming and CSS also. We set a square block for each table cell so the four quadrants in the background would look like a window as in Microsoft Windows. We assigned the height to be 100% while the width should only be half of it. We align the table at the center by setting the left and right margins to automatic. So the table will be at the center with a significant left and right margin. We will now preview the web page. As you can see here, the four quadrants converge together to form a circle while their backgrounds correspond to what logo should they be colored with. I hope you find this video entertaining to watch as I discuss to you how to rotate an image in a web page.